what you guys I've had a few people contact me about the Realtek audio driver saying it's not working after they've upgraded their Windows 10 or updated to Windows 10 so I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to resolve this issue now there's quite a few uh, videos I've done on audio repair but the Realtek driver is something uh, a little bit different because obviously it's a particular type of driver that you need to install so let's take a look at the device manager here and we can take a look at the error message so as you can see we do have an error on this driver it does have a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it and this means that the uh, driver is either out of date or it's got corrupted uh, during the upgrade or the update process so what we're going to need to do is update this driver and I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video um, now there has been a few people saying they've installed the driver and it's not working so you need to make sure you get the correct driver installed for it to work properly and I'll show you how to do that in this video so first off do a search for the Realtek driver in Google and you can see here I've just typed that in there and uh, you'll see these three areas down here uh, one is Taiwan and one is uh, the .com so it doesn't really matter which one you go just make sure you're not clicking on the advert versions here you want the actual Realtek website uh, which is these ones I've listed here so you can see them so either these ones will do you so just click on one of them and this will take you to the website you need to accept their terms and conditions above and you need to download the high definition audio codex now you can see them listed below there's the 32-bit version and there's also the 64-bit version it works for Windows and Linux Unix as you can see there and this is the date uh, they released it so you need to make sure you get the right version here you can click on the global and download it from there now you can also download this from the motherboard manufacturer website and this will also give you the latest version as well and I'll show you how to do both ways of this so just make sure that you are downloading the right uh, version okay so I'm going to download the 64-bit version this is the normal version that most people use but you can check yours out and I'll show you how to do that a little bit later on to make sure you are getting the right version so go down to the search and type MS info in there and this will give you the system information here you will be able to see all the information on your system it is a 64-bit based PC which means it's 64-bit and you can also see the motherboard manufacturer and name there which is gigabyte and it's the Z270 gaming uh, I think that's K3 and uh, what we can do there is download the drivers from their motherboard manufacturers website and I'll show you how to do that as well now sometimes they're a little bit more helpful and uh, they give you a bit more information and I'll show you uh, where we can download those so I'm going to go over to the gigabyte website and uh, download it from there as well so I did a search for Z270 gaming uh, K3 and you can see I've just gaming free here it, and it still found the right version and uh, we're going to just put the uh, link there and click on this and it will open up our page and we can now see we can go to the support tab here and this will give us the downloads for the audio driver so click on the support link and it will be the same for MSI Asus ASRock all those motherboard manufacturers you can get the audio driver from there and you can see all we need to do here now is put in the operating system which I've done Windows 10 64 bit and now we can see we have the Realtek audio drivers and the different types of versions version 1709 and version 1803 you need to make sure that you use the right version for your audio driver otherwise it won't work so if you've upgraded from 1709 to 1803 and you're using the 1709 driver it won't work okay so you need to make sure you get the right driver inside here you can see inside the uh, screen here you can see I am running version 1803 and that's why we had an error message because we was using the old 1709 uh, driver so that's okay we're just going to update this driver and we can download it on the right hand side by clicking on one of the links either Asia China America or Europe depending where you are in the world just download the right version for your system and you should be pretty much good to go from there it's very good that gigabyte have helped you out here by explaining it 
because some uh, motherboard manufacturers won't and you will end up uh, installing the wrong driver every time and that's when it doesn't work properly so I'm just going to download the correct driver for my version and then we're going to let this download and we'll start to install it now what the driver will do is it will start to uninstall first reboot the system and then it will then start to install the new driver and that will be the end of the problem and you should be up and running in no time at all so once we have our file downloaded we're going to need to extract it to our desktop so we can install it because it comes as a zip file here so let me just click on the folder here and extract all this to uh, my desktop you can put it wherever you like i'm just going to extract it there it's a lot easier so just extract all by hitting the extract all here and navigate to where you want to extract it to so i'm just going to click on the browse button here and select desktop it's that simple and uh, once you've done that you can click select folder and uh, it will then go onto that desktop so let's click on the select folder here and then click next and that will then extract now it seems that uh, Realtek has caused a lot of problems for people and uh, it is pretty straightforward and easy to resolve so all we need to do here now is click on the setup and this will start to install our file so click on this and it will open up there we go so all we need to do is let that install now it will give us some options here it's going to say uninstall first so we'll go next and you can see it gives you the instructions here so it's going to uninstall reboot the system and then start to install a new driver so just let that do its thing and uh, we will continue now if you've got a firewall here you just need to accept that through i'm running zone alarm here so i just have to let that through and it should be okay you may want to disable that if you want to it's entirely up to you uh, but just let that uninstall the first one it will ask you to reboot the system and then it will continue with the installation process so let me just continue that and we will be right back so on reboot it's going to want to start to install your new driver now so let it go ahead and do that so it's going to install our new driver if you're running a firewall you just need to let that run through and then this is going to configure our audio driver to get it up and running properly and it just needs to do one more restart on your computer so we're going to go ahead and uh, do that so we're just going to click restart okay after the second reboot let's check our driver so i'm going to go down to the bottom left hand corner right click and go device manager here open up our device manager and we can check our audio and you can see now that everything has been installed correctly and it's all now working correctly now if you're still having issues here you may want to right click on this uh, driver here your Realtek high definition driver right click on that and go properties but you should be pretty much up and running now inside your driver section here uh, check inside here and uh, we can do is go to update driver if you're still having problems that is and then go to browse my computer for driver software then come down to let me pick from the list of available drivers on this computer and you want to click on the generic software device okay click on that and then click next and let that install okay and go through i've got mine working so i'm not going to do it but if you do that's what you want to do and go next and follow that through and you should be good to go from there but other than that you should be pretty much okay now if you're still having some issue you may want to disable uh, the advanced uh, features inside uh, windows 10 and let me just quickly show you how to do that so i'm going to right click on the sounds feature down here and we're going to go into sounds and uh, for your audio down here you can see we have our Realtek audio uh, down here and you want to select that on the playback section double click on it here and you want to make sure that everything is off you see this here you want to make sure that is set to off 
any of these enhancements just disable all the effects all the sound effects I've got mine left as it is because it's working but if yours isn't working you want to disable all of these effects okay and you should be pretty much good to go from there now there's also a troubleshooter built into windows which you can use for audio um, but that's if you're having extreme problems and I've covered that in another video so I'm not going to go over that again and I'll leave those uh, on the cards there you can click on those and I hope that's uh, going to help you out now if you're running an MSI motherboard or Asus or ASRock or something like that you just have to follow those uh, that same process and you should be pretty much good to go from there and you should be back up and running in no time anyway I hope this one helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.